Well, there's been much talk about Uganda's being naturally blessed by God. Of course, we talk about the good soils and the good climate, and of late, the oil and gas sector. But little is talked about the potential that the country still possesses underneath. That is the minerals subsector. Besides oil and gas, Uganda has many, and these have a lot in transforming this economy. Today, we look at that potential. It's good to have you on the show, Money and Markets. Uh, give us an idea of what is happening in the mineral subsector. What are the developments? What is going on in there in terms of exploration and developments? At the moment, the mineral resources subsector is progressing well, uh, although there are challenges uh, in terms of uh, the financing for, for mineral exploration, in terms of maybe the human capacity, but uh, all in all, the sector is progressing well. We've done evaluation of mineral sources uh, countrywide for some key strategic uh, minerals. And uh, so far, the reserves of iron ore has increased from 50 million tons that was known uh, in the 2000, and now we have over 400 million tons. Recently, we did evaluation of iron ore in, in Kavale, and we estimated about 70 million tons, and that is just from estimation of uh, the subsurface. We need to drill so to improve on that additional reserves. We also did some work in Rutenga, where we estimated over 30 million tons, and previously we had 200 million tons of iron ore known in uh, the whole of uh, southwestern region, that is the Kigezi region, and in the eastern, we have over 100 million tons of, of iron ore. Yeah. Other minerals like limestone, we've also estimated about 300 million tons, and uh, a number of other mineral commodities which have been uh, evaluated, and we need to undertake, we need to undertake further exploration to determine the reserves at depth, because when you don't drill, you can only remain with estimates. And that is the work which is now in progress. We are following up targets. There were about 18 mineral targets that was identified uh, during a project which was called Sustainable Management of Mineral Resources uh, Project. And those targets range from gold, uh, base metals, that is looking at iron ore, tin, tantalite, columbite. Uh, we have industrial minerals like, like limestone, and the other mineral commodities which has been located the countrywide. So we expect to increase the mineral reserves. That will be uh, one of the factors for the transformation of, of the country. Mm -hmm. Now, help us understand the participation of Ugandans. Are we seeing more Ugandans participating in the exploitation and exploration of these minerals? Yeah, I can first start from the licensing a point of view, and then we can come into how the Ugandans are participating. Uh, in terms of for licensing, uh, there are a category of mineral licenses that are granted. Uh, some of them are, are purely for uh, promotion of participation of Ugandans. But when we grant, uh, in, in the first step, when somebody comes to start uh, uh, investment in the mineral sector. The first license that a person requires is a prospecting license, where you prospect and that is open to Ugandans, to the uh, international investors. You come, you, you apply for a license, you are given a prospecting license, and you locate, you, you, you go countrywide, in an area which is not licensed, and you look for a mineral of interest. Once you've got that, then you have to now zero down onto an, a specific area, which is exploration license, which is given for a specific period of time and for a specific mineral. And exploration license, we, it's also granted to any person uh, or that is a, a Ugandan, but not a, not a foreign company. For a foreign person cannot hold a license. He can only hold it as a company. So when it's a registered company or an individual who is a Ugandan can hold an exploration license, and we have granted a number of exploration licenses, but the percentage of uh, Ugandans are still uh, are low 
in participating in the exploration license because first of all, it's, uh, it, it, needs, it, it needs a lot of investment. You need a lot of equipment to do under to do exploration. So uh, the government put up uh, another license, which is called a location license, which is specifically to encourage the local participation. And that is how uh, the artisanal miners can participate through the mineral sector. They acquire a license. If uh, for anybody to acquire a location license, it has to be at least 51 percent Ugandan. Now, everyone seems to be obsessed about oil and gas. And from what you're telling us, Uganda has many minerals. Now, do you see Uganda one time becoming a major player in the minerals uh, area or a major exporter or, or processor of minerals? Uh, one thing you have to know is that the, the Ugandan's mineral potential is really underexplored. We don't have uh, enough data about the mineral reserves and we need to undertake a further detailed exploration to, to, to determine the, the full volume, what you're calling the volume, of the minerals in Uganda. Uh, because uh, as we talk now, the, the coverage of, of mapping, you can put it at like maybe 20 or 30 percent, but that is the ground follow-up. But uh, airborne, we did airborne geophysics, uh, which uh, detect just uh, giving you some signals of the properties of the minerals on the ground. But you need to follow it up uh, on the ground to determine the amount which is there. You need to drill for you to determine that the amount of the volume of the mineral is, which is there. Most of the estimates which we have, uh, these are based on maybe samples which are brought uh, or a few areas which we have concentrated on, but we are conducting a comprehensive review and the mapping of, of the country uh, to determine the exact uh, volume and the quantities of minerals. We have worked on few. Yes, I've told you we have uh, looked at iron ore, we have looked on um, at limestone, but even the iron ore, we have only touched patches in the Kigezi region. And you need to drill for you to determine the, the exact volume. We estimate that there is over 1 billion tons of iron ore in, the, in Uganda. There, if you can see like the production of gold, which is, uh, which is uh, coming from the country, if we can have some monies put aside and we do a thorough exploration and determine the exact volume, then uh, there's nothing which can stop Uganda from being a major mineral producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even just from the artisans uh, themselves, when you go there to interview them, somebody will tell you, in a good day, I can get about two kilos, I can get about one kilo of so, of gold. So if you put that picture together, that shows that there is a lot of uh, mineral potential. Uh, the Uganda has still mineral potential which has not been explored, yeah. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yes.